Good evening. We're going to sing Jesus Saves um, One and Four in English. We have heard the joyful sound. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Spread the tidings all around. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Bear the news to every land. Climb the streams and cross the waves. All the tears and sorrows are Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Give the winds a mighty voice. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Let the nations now rejoice. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. Shall salvation to the free, highest hills and deepest caves. Tears of time won the victory. Jesus saves, Jesus saves. All right, thank you. Good morning, and uh, all of you that are listening, I hope Lee is listening, Eastern, Jehoshua, Betta, and others, brothers and sisters, friends. The day is Sunday again, it's the day of the resurrection, and it's good to know that we're saved and then uh, now we're all going to heaven. So we'll uh, read some verses here and then uh, uh, we'll begin uh, Acts chapter 11, verse 19. It's announcement. Uh, Okay, online services still uh, until the curfew is over. Sunday morning at 11.30 evenings on Wednesday, Sunday evening at 6.30. And some uh, children are going back to school, pray for them safety. And others are doing... Uh, uh, from their home and continue to read the book of Psalm. Uh, it has uh, 150 chapters, so it'll take a long reading. And pray for other church members, essential employees, and those that are sick, for our leaders, and for our countries. And Daryl's anniversary is going to be on the 23rd of this month. And uh, so, uh, how are you, Mama Dose? Acts 11 and verse 19. Now, they which were scattered abroad upon the the persecution that arose, Stephen traveled as far as Venice and Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word to none but unto the Jews only. And some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene, which when they were come to Antioch, spake unto the Grecians, preaching the Lord Jesus and the hand of the Lord was with them and a great number believe and turn unto the Lord. Then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church which was in Jerusalem and they sent forth Barnabas that he should go as far as Antioch. Well, 
stop there and pray. Lord, Heavenly Father, <clears throat> thank you again for all that morning. Thank you for the Word of God. We pray you help me bless uh, in here and understanding. Uh, all that is uh, there in, in the Word. So we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. I see Antioch, the Yahweh, actions in Antioch. And, you know, Christians ought to have some actions in their lives. You know, Christian life is exciting. And, uh, if you're walking with him and you know you're going to heaven, you get excited about that. And you know you're going to one day uh, see the Savior and uh, get to uh, see what's going on up there. And so the number one here is uh, the search of preaching. Uh, we read 19 through 22, so that's the part search, you know, is uh, like uh, people were uh, actually just uh, being heard all over and people were getting saved and uh, preachers were coming and they want to help. Christians were coming. They probably cook like we cook on, on the reservation camp meetings. And you know, Jewish people are similar to our lifestyle. And uh, so they will be doing that and they decided uh, they want to have some fellowship, meet some friends and uh, a lot of uh, things going on. And it's good to uh, be a Christian to say, a <laughs> And so these people probably came from all over, as we have read, uh, from uh, Tarsus, Cyrene, and uh, Cyprus, and so forth. People coming all over from uh, Jerusalem, and probably around surrounding countries also. And so uh, I'm reading uh, 1 Timothy 1.19, more like uh, introduction to that part. Uh, there it says, uh, holding faith and good conscience, which some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck. First uh, Timothy 1.19, again, the Ado has your yat ehon sahakis. Hala hot e sa nahon de des obeni na be otla. E ya sana ethi tati etatra nila. Second Timothy one thirteen. One twelve. For that for which cause I also suffered these things, nevertheless I am not ashamed. For I know whom I have believed, and am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. <clears throat> you know, uh, it's like a, a deposit. You know, your deposit is safe. You know, it's that day is the day of his coming. And you know, that's a secure uh, salvation and not an, an unsure thing. It's a real, it's a act. That's why people were excited. Uh, Shall 
Edim Bebaiseli e ea jothat o leso. Shishpehoza e lecis to tas e nela shosos lan. E bayat ki koho e ea bai jesus e a nista inni. A koho bajat na au e ado. Pibepohalni ya halia pes bahawad pes ya jinn nigit a. E it osi raha a piyata halia. To be hozi and e ha. Number let it be scattered but united in faith. Remember back in Acts chapter eight, verse one and two, they because of persecution they were scattered. You know, if you're scattered from your belief or your your discourage or your displace. You know, you got a savior that is sure. And you have a book that is real, and then you have fellowship that is uh, going to be here and then in heaven. So a do na kin nida, a do vi o chi da e ya a nin do ta, a do na na so sa vi do ta hui na, a do a ni a do na si si la, a do de a ni ki do, so a do na kin ni go e ya a e do le so da i ta, so ho ta o li ya a ko e ben na so e ti o na ben zi zi. You know, if there's a godliness, there's going to be persecution. It doesn't end there. You notice uh, what was going on since eight, Acts 8, 1 and 2. Uh, they were scattered all over and uh, they began to preach. And, uh, you know, if you're pressured, uh, it ought to cause you to uh, be more fervent in your faith, and that's uh, what was going on. Uh, you get you get hot, you get uh, so on fire for the Lord when when uh, times are hard, just like our time, and uh, that's what was happening indeed. That's uh, why Go to Exodus chapter 1 verse 11 through 14. It says, therefore they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. Acts chapter 1, verse 11 through 14. And they built for Pharaoh treasure cities, Pithim and Remesis, and they, and the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew, and they grieve because of the children of Israel. You know, people will be uh, looking at you, and uh, you're hanging there, and they're going to be afraid. And uh, and the Egyptian made the children of Israel to serve with rigor, I mean, it's hard. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage, slavery in mortar, in brick, and in all manners of service in the field, all their service wherein they made them serve was with rigor. Oh, they quite a hanaki as this asado sa sahnas dry asado these are that you had now equa Israel the now snada but in the other by a chick or a a corn 
benannt Ada Honno, Ewitschen, da will na ich wie jeno, je bade Jossen, a ko e fero, e a bikinia, jan desen, na e a a ho, que a que go she has a. Ada hat schon da will na go, a hat edit, o e wata, ke a just a nest, a ne. Oh, Ebenina, Eyab, Benina, Ben in the Hassan, be the task dodging a pharaoh than that, and then the gate of Egypt. Ado, a Egyptian, the gate, a Israel, Yego, each and the Hush now bandal up. Ado and the Bay Nagi Yego, but not has she or none, that was not our cousin. Ado e se a call came at that, and the gate that is Ado e what out o ha ye go ye or dan tago. Jo e that will and there no ya han let. And now so we'll go to first Timothy, second Timothy three twelve. And now so we know that. It should be a thing that is always true. Uh, the harder they afflict you, the harder they want to stop you, the harder you want to stand. <coughs> the harder you work, uh, the harder it is in this life that uh, you want to stand true. Second Timothy three twelve says, "Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution." Nila, oh, Second Timothy na dekat ona hitata. Oh, ako tal so kaysa dagan paisa so tutin ni the Jesus Christ. A yad an ni hajran na hot il na do lech nela. That is true. Back then is true now. And uh, so we'll uh, look at some verses. Uh, Matthew chapter sixteen and verse twenty-four. And that'd uh, be a good reading. I heard that preached a lot of time in my lifetime. And sixteen twenty-four. It says, Then Jesus said unto his disciples, If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up the cross, his cross, and follow me. You know, these people that follow the Lord <coughs> are not going to all uh, die the same way. They're, they're not all going to suffer the same way. And that's the reason that we have a cross to bear it. It's your cross, it's my cross, and that's when, uh, what I want to take, and it's going to uh, end my life. And uh, it should be true with you also. And so we have a personal cross that, that we're all uh, having, and I pray that you'll uh, just uh, stay in and uh, serve. At some close to the as a dash of door, tears as a cater or cart or lesner. A court or agent, how it nigh us are that, a door as a haggit on his and how it don't nash a door. Though as a haggit out at any nest that would our need, so it's some close to the anhi than he got a nature to a yahan and he gained the tea what I did tea. A court a cargishi. Nein, not a non dot hickey. As indeed, teens are named Acts fourteen twenty two. Concerning confirming the souls of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith, and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. Uh, <coughs> Acts uh, fourteen and verse twenty two. <coughs> I do this, uh, is a zane, eh, better husband, not a lia, daughter, aha, 
Ado on the yeg or the hair or clap and so zainty, they didn't. Ado a yeg or she eat ad la onage and that we snow eh. Ya ashi haki de crahanela. Joke or ane hot echo or teacher. Eh, ya. An ancient nahi not at the nilante. A deep Paul de de hana vehicle in that a hot eat gay. A Hosun Yego Shinchen Tahwisna. Revelation chapter two, verse ten. Revelation chapter two, verse ten. Fear not of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life, Nila. Oh, a yati, ado betas, zeta, a yati, she made his and the hotty or not to get your con, and she be in the seed, a yako, a ya, a wally hunt and hit the yost, and hit the yost. I don't hear what nest and he said, Now it's not a it's not a it's a a so there are some readings, and then that B is a scatter, but united in fellowship. So you go back to Acts eleven twenty, and some of them were men of Cyprus and Cyrene, which when they were come to Antioch, spake unto the Grecians, preaching the word. In other words, these people were uh, coming in from places outside of. Uh, Antioch, and they're coming to preach, or coming to hear, or coming to encourage, or coming to work, and uh, that's that's what it is. You know, you continue to fellowship. You know, I like the verse in Psalm 119. I think somebody asked me a question about uh, <clears throat> who the, who the, I, I stand with. And then I uh, think this is the verse that I gave them. Psalm 119 and verse 63. I am a companion of them that fear thee and of them that keep thy precepts. Psalm Ta Shea Digin Ka Yetan Tiki Abel Kisses Shanila Ado Digin Ka Zati Katawas and again So go ahead and kiss it all needle A to A Ka Yetan Tiki to Ka Zati or Tlaniki to her Kohan no. So they, they didn't believe the book, they didn't uh, believe uh, uh, his, uh, they fear for him. And those are the friends that, that we should have. And uh, then uh, we'll go ahead and pick up at Romans chapter 1 and verse 12. Romans chapter 1 and verse 12. Malachi is usually hard to find for me, so I'll skip that one. Uh, that is that I may be comforted together with you by the mutual faith, both of you and me. Uh, mutual means that uh, you have a, a faith that you share. And that's why he's talking about that will uh, be uh, that we'll be comforted together when we come together. And that's why we have churches to get some comfort. 
get some comfort from the Word of God, get some comfort uh, that we still here, we uh, preaching still going out all over uh, the land, and uh, people are listening, and uh, it's, it's, it's worth our time, even though uh, we're hindered by uh, people outside of us, uh, the government, and sometimes it's good to uh, just uh, let them uh, let them be, and we can work under them. Philippians chapter one and verse three and five. Though that Philippians chapter one. Verse uh, 3, I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, of you for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. You know, somebody will hang in there for the duration of the time we're here, and they'll be good. A <laughs> Don't quit coming, don't quit going, don't quit believing, don't quit reading the Bible, don't quit praying, don't, don't quit uh, being encouragement to somebody else in this world. And uh, that should be a blessing to others. And then First John 1 and verse 7, probably a favorite verse. Uh, some people uh, know, or maybe even have you met as a memory verse. All right, uh, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. You know, I, I call that uh, instant, instantaneous cleansing. It's like if you stay in the light, if you keep your sin confessed, uh, the Lord will always uh, cleanse you. And then uh, he's going to hear you. The other night I woke up with a real sharp pain in, in the, uh, uh, the bottom of the, my foot and then I uh, couldn't sleep. Uh, it was around 2 a.m. So I uh, turned my Bible to Psalm 139 and I started reading from verse 1. And I read through that and talked to God. I said, my foot is uh, is uh, my need. I want to have it. I want to preach. I want to talk. I want to talk to you. I, I know you made me. I made, know you made every part of me, my eyes, my ears, my nose, my mouth, my stomach, my uh, lungs, my kidneys, and so forth. And here I am hurting. Well, while I was uh, saying that to the, the Lord, talking to him, as I read, and no, I noticed that my foot wasn't hurting anymore. And so I laid down and then I went to sleep. And uh, then wake up again until when it was time to get up. And you know, you can talk to God like that. I call Aquaria. First John, I thought it was a Aquaria. A then TV that's a day no crack or a hard beat than TV hollow. A call a hidden snout to sit in a day no sun. A bodily trees, but this eight hours such a bonnet eight hours to young Tani eaten hot honey kissing. A hot eight a comb beta I kiss the hot nose. Ako 
ආකුණෙත් යද තනේකිස් ඕනරේ අකුස් කනාෂේ හොත් ආස් වසස කේනිකරේ ඔහෝ එචෙහි ශාසෝ හොදෝ බිහිරහ ඔහෝ පතිශි පායි අනහද ඔහෝ ඒ වෙනින් නතෝනේ ශාත ආදෝ තින් මචේ අස්කි සනොලි හගේ නැසතෝ අකතෝ අනහස්තේ සායි දොහයි කතෝන් ලේජෝ සොයි කතනාති නාකිදාසේ දාඉන සහනාශ්චායි හුකාත්ස්නතේෂ නාහන්දොස් ජාහන්දො සුසේ හන්නසෙන්දාසිකේ හන්නසෙන්සෙන්සෙන්සෙන්සෙන්සෙන්සෙන්සෙන්සෙන්සෙන්සෙන්සෙන්සෙන්සෙන්සෙන්සෙන්සෙන්සෙන්සෙන්ස
that we need is outstanding. And uh, so here is a, a, a man, a Hey, uh, you know, in the midst of the bustle of activities, fellowship, service, unity, praises, and repentance, there is excitement and uh, uh, how's your Christianity, by the way? Uh, Barnabas, Tigin <laughs> Barnabas uh, Barnabas, his name means son of consolation. In other words, he's a man of comfort. <clears throat> and uh, so uh, I, I believe he's very observant of the uh, things that are going on. And uh, he sees uh, where the puzzle in, is missing. He sees where uh, uh, need improvement in the, uh, he sees where a preacher needs to uh, start up and preach or some help over here and help over there and uh, money here and uh, needy people over here and the church needs to get in the order and we need a uh, new preacher over here uh, we need to ask the uh, apostle paul to come over and so forth you know uh, barnabas uh, seems to be a person that, that knew how to do things, uh, to get things going, like maybe church order, maybe a treasurer, maybe a song leader, maybe uh, getting everything in order for the camp meeting. He's the type of guy that you would look to, and he's a good man, the Bible says. Uh, you know, even though he's unknown as far as we uh, just uh, lightly read through the Bible. He's a man that has uh, so much that had uh, come through him. And uh, even uh, he, he, he worked with Apostle Paul uh, at the beginning. That's how he got the, him from, out of Tarsus. And uh, so he, he, he's a man that encouraged the lowest of uh, all Christians, I mean the backslider. And he would uh, also reach the highs of, of understanding, maybe the apostle. And he was a handy man. He encouraged people. He defended uh, apostle Saul, and then he made disciples. Uh, he vouched for the truth that this was real, that came through the Gentile. And then he restored uh, a man by the name of Mark. And then he represented uh, Jerusalem in Antioch, uh, where we read. Uh, he's a representative, even though the apostle is supposed to be in Antioch, but he actually was up there representing the apostle. And uh, then actually the apostle saw to come over and uh, probably got his uh, uh, ministry and uh, shot in the arm where it, it got to going lies uh, was going on after that and I believe he got the uh, Apostle Paul on fire again and he got stuck in Tarsus in you know, his own country you know a lot of times you go to your own country you, ha you have no results uh, you try and try and nothing happens 
And that's what happened with Black Mesa. I witnessed it all over. And then no, no one uh, got saved. And then I talked to about a thousand uh, workers uh, that were working for the coal mine. None of them got saved, but one day, uh, a young kid, 14 year old boy, uh, did school and then stayed home was uh, practicing his pole vaulting. Uh, he said he uh, wanted to go another foot to improve on his uh, vault, uh, pole vault. And uh, so I come up to him and said, hey, you like to get saved and let me tell you about the Lord Jesus, how you can go to heaven. And he said, sure. And then he kept saying, sure, sure, sure. And then I doubted myself. Uh, does he really understand what I'm telling? I, I said, you are a sinner, the Bible says. And uh, he said, sure, I know that. He told me. And that guy got saved and then uh, lived to uh, see his family. By uh, last time I saw him, I think he had three or four uh, married into a Christian family from Navajo Mountain. And then, uh, you know, uh, just one out of one area. And then uh, you come to say the rich, so we, we have a bunch of people uh, get saved. Oh, Barnabas in Nayat, eh, but don't need that. Uh, you know, some a super Christian will only congregate with those super ones and uh, you'll be left out, uh, you know, back when I got saved. Uh, there are a lot of super Christians around, I would join them. They wouldn't pay attention. Uh, they would talk among themselves and they don't give me any, any interest into their conversation. I don't the that in the Apostle Paul, the Quidditching what the Quidditching Chanel, the Quidditching Yikal, what the Quadro Chorn, Chorot AAD. Barnabas a in the handy man had needs a harder than that out there. Yo ye cheat off trouble. A trend needed on the hot hot on this, a deceived on no eat on the auto to the shallan, clever's then need to eat on the shahok is in daughter's then need to a hot is in art so ye or sunny. So a mean de la coho a. A Goshanaha in Lado, Naked Heart, Sweet Old Ohos, Isaac, Decayed, uh, Bacayed, Nakedon, that the Naked Heart, Sweet Old Old, Ah, not Jodish, and then closed on the Ado Quen, needed a little track, a parcel, that a parcel down Adi, than let your dad, a young day, Auntie Yatania, a coach or hot out. A con parcel that took a half of Peter Alnara. So, what are you saying? You know, the man, I would like to have a man like that, that, that you don't have to wish that they do something that way they're they having a, a whole view of everything. And they see something wrong over here, and they see something wrong over here, and the help needed. You know, somebody patch up our roof over here. Somebody actually is that way uh, in our church and then uh, actually uh, cut into the uh, wall there to make a space behind the house. And uh, so uh, we need that kind of people. We need people that will help. Just like he actually uh, added our kitchen here too. 
And uh, so man like that, you don't have to reason with a person and they'll just uh, come out and say, let's do this. And, and we'll add the kitchen here and that's what we did. The third part of this message is a search for a preacher. A preacher, you know, a preacher is what we need. Yeah. Uh, uh, the question what's up that is and I'm praying for several preachers that have cancer and others have uh, certain other problems, uh, kidney disease and uh, uh, recovery from uh, a coma and then uh, then others uh, have other problems and then uh, a man with a headache that's constant all through his life for many years. I saw him in Gallup one time, preached there, and uh, he, he's, uh, he looks like he's okay, but he's uh, hurting. And all over his body, there's a pain that is very unbelievable. And uh, so I read his book on, on that life. So, you know, I pray for people like that. And uh, so here in uh, 25, and they depart, then departed Barnabas to Tarsus to seek Saul. You notice that uh, he was in Antioch and uh, had all these happening. And then he said, I'm going to go look for Paul, Saul. He's still Saul, not Paul there. Just a little ways uh, away, maybe 50, 50 miles, maybe. Maybe it might be two days' journey to get there on a donkey, but uh, you don't have cell phone back then. You don't have a vehicle that like we have, no train. And uh, so we had to ride a mule or a donkey to Tarsus. And then he has to find him and find out that he has no results. Even though he's preaching among his own people, preaching among his own relatives, nobody getting saved. And uh, so, you know, uh, Barnabas knows something about people. So the, he, he said, there's action in Antioch. Might as well bring him over and get him to get him in on preaching too. And uh, so, you know, Barnabas is somebody. And uh, so he brings, uh, uh, there he, uh, verse 26, and when he had found him, he brought him to him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that the whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. Notice that word, much. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. You know, they were called Christians, means that the followers of Jesus followers of Christ. Probably they're, they're really strong, they wouldn't be persecuted. They, they stood out and uh, so Paul's usefulness uh, actually uh, started up again right there. You know, he's been used other places and uh, back in his own country, nothing was happening. So Barnabas had to go and fish him out and bring him to Antioch. And there, and there it says he was there for a whole year. And then he, he taught much people. And then uh, probably all their testimony was so true that, uh, that they called them Christians. And they were so outstanding. Oh, so yod out of it, the other, 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 the
when I we first came to Cedar Ridge, I used to go to go so when uh, in Cedar Ridge and then sometimes for VBS we invite people. And then here was a little boy riding his motorcycle, maybe eight years old, and he was just ahead of me. And he was saying, hey, Jesus man is here, Jesus man is here. And then he went, went into his hogan and told the family that the Jesus man was here. That's, that's what the, probably the said about uh, Barnabas or Saul. And you know, that guy did a job, and uh, that, that needs to happen. And uh, so here, like one of us, I said, is a man that knows uh, all situations. Uh, if you need a preacher from somewhere, he would get it. <coughs> if you need a discipler, he would get them. And then, then he found him. You know, uh, the tradition says that he was uh, in Tarsus for nine years. That means Saul was in Tarsus for nine years, and they heard nothing about him. They heard uh, nothing about salvation, nothing about uh, how the word is going, how his testimony is affecting his own country, nothing. And then here comes Barnabas, you need a man like that, and go over there and invite him over to Antioch. And that's where the action started for him again. And uh, what, what a work, you know, if it, you can, usually there are some people that can do that. They, they can uh, assemble some things, uh, they can do things and cause the church to grow. And that's what was going on at the Argosy. Saul in the Hakea Hon, so in the Tarsus only, are in Gerald, so Slad Ned and I say these are not a Tishin, a Hodard, so Slad Hon, not so are not a Hodaka, is a O Hay, not a Naka. Our Dobahan net, a Hodaka net, do hat need, when that lights the house, Kato hat need. And Barnabas they <laughs> Actions are still there. 
we can still uh, be a witness. We, you know, God uses us. We are his instruments. We are the one through whom he may work. If we are available, that is, if we're not available, he won't use us. So the day we yield, it's going to be the day he will use us. So let's pray. <clears throat> Lord, Heavenly Father, again, we thank you for the hour. We pray for those that have heard the word. We pray that they, <clears throat> they'll be blessed with this and they'll remember that they can be like Barnabas and be unknown and yet not known in the lives of people. And so, Lord, help us. And for those that uh, do not know you, I pray that they will just uh, trust you and know that they're going to heaven uh, believe you. And so we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. 